Hello guys, today I would like to show you a RT5 radio made by Radio Tom. This is the same company that make the RT4 radio that I show you already on my other videos. This is basically the same situation like on the RT4. This is just a phone, like a smartphone based on the Android with a dedicated speaker mic and it's like dedicated for the Zillo application or similar because there are other applications for the voice over IP. So let's see what we've got in the box. I'm not going to pretend that I didn't open that because my hands were shaking like that when I got this from the post office. So I already hook it up in the car and yes I know that it's working so let's see first of all we've got our hand microphone this is just a microphone it's not a speaker we've got speaker over here so it's only a mic I can tell that it's feel quite nice the cord is long enough you can compare the mic against the RT4 one. So this is the generic one, China, that it's sold like a Motorola one. And this one looks more rugged, more like a CB radio mic. So I can I can tell you right now that it feels nice. The cable it's quite stiff, but it's long, quite nice. There is a plug, as you can see, this is not a standard plug, so there might be a problem if you would like to replace that with something yours. So I don't think you, you can easily found that kind of plug. That's the front panel and the plug reminds me a uh, Motorola DMR radio if I remember correctly the DM4600 that's a very similar layout so yes it's looking like like a Motorola the front panel of course so we've got our our connector I can see over there a rubber gasket which maybe there is some kind of seal Let's see how to connect it properly. I can see that we've got over here some kind of element and the notch. Is that a good way or not? Not, that's not okay. I think that's okay. And rotate okay so that's how it looks like with the speaker mic attached so quite nice we've got our buttons that we can program a power we've got a volume control and LED I can see there is also a push, push click on the volume adjustment this is made of plastic because of course there is not any output stage, this is not a radio, this is just a phone, so we don't need to protect against the RF or having a heatsink, so this is everything made of plastic. On the back, what we've got over here, we've got a external GPS antenna, because if you would like to put it under the, <coughs> under the hood of your car under the steering wheel then you wouldn't get the reception so somewhere there will be a GPS antenna I'm not going to use that because I would like to use this as a base station so I don't need a GPS but yes you've got a GPS antenna 
you can put it somewhere that will be visible on the sky and get a GPS reception. So that's not needed, but it's possible. We've got a connection for the power. We've got over here. Let's grab him something. We've got the output from the label. It looks like the headphones. So maybe you can connect this to the to your car stereo system to get the reception and the micro USB. So on this side we've got a screw for for mounting. Let me grab a power supply. Okay, I've got my power supply over there. So let's see what else do we get. So this is the cable for powering it on. As you can see, we've got a car with, a, I think that's a 2.1 or 2.5. DC connector, I don't know. We might check this later. Now we can hook it up to my power supply. I've got a beefy one for my radio equipment, but of course you don't need a lot of current. I'm pretty sure that one amp or maybe two amp from the wall plug will be absolutely okay. As you can see, we've got a nice red LED. Then we can hook it up, but let's see what else do we get. We've got some cablings. And let's see what's inside. So this is like a more permanent wiring. If you would like to have this inside of your car, you can hook it up to your electrical system and the plug have this element and I think it's used with that metal plate. I think that might protect against accidentally unplugging. Yes, so it wouldn't shake off the, the plate is is locking. Quite, quite smart. That's quite smart. In car you can have a vibration. I cannot unplug it right now. Okay, okay, I did it. So that's how it looks like. Quite smart. So this is our power cabling. We've got our mounting bracket. <coughs> So we can fix it and you can adjust by using this screw that, that are supplied. So yes, we've got everything. We've got also a holder for the microphone. So we can put our mic over here in nice place. We've got some some papers. This looks like a manual. Ah, that's things that you can no problem figure out. <coughs> We've got instruction register in Google. So it looks like you have to do something to get the Google account connected. Maybe that's something about the Google Play Store. I don't know. I have to check it later. Okay, so let's power it power it on. And let's see how it sounds. Let's try to power it on. I'm going to remove the screen protector. The first time I boot up 
I've got a very big problem in the typing on the the keypad. As you can see, my finger is like half of the screen. So I've got trouble typing. But I've got found a solution and I'm going to show you. You have to change uh, two settings. I have to check, can you see on the screen? Okay. So first thing you need to change is going to the to the accessibility and you have to disable the large text because by default it was enabled and as you can see over here there is too much too much text you cannot type something in that size so you have to disable that and as you can see it's getting smaller so you can easier read and the another thing is i believe on the display don't judge me if i'm wrong the font size as you can see and we was on the i believe large if we go to the to the small as you can see on size small it's easier to to navigate so let's let's try to add uh, that one is working like a back key we can adjust the volume as you can see let's see this all application was pre-installed we've got the Zello YouTube Play Store Google Maps of course you can use the Google Maps because we've got our GPS Let's see how much memory do we get. I'm connected to Wi-Fi. This is no problem. That that was the problem that I have to change the font size to the small because I was unable to type correctly. So let's see the memory. Let's see. This is our internal memory. So it's it's quite small. Uh, this is like not for playing games but just for the for the Zello so that could be enough let's check the internal storage also do we have do we have over there a data usage not I would like to check how much storage do we get <coughs> maybe that's like four gigabytes maybe on the file manager we can and over here that's uh, a funny thing because you have to double type over there so it's not like I was first thinking that it's not working the touch screen but you have to double tap on the icon so let's see our about phone let's try to get some information I would be so we've got our model RT5 and drawing 6.0 I'm looking for the for the onboard memory but no, oh, okay. And in general, you would like to try to swipe, and you have to double tap, and then it's working, no problem. So let's open File Manager, and maybe there we will. So the total space, one point five gigabyte. So that's quite sad, but yeah, maybe we don't need more just for this Zello. Okay, so let me let me enter my credits on the Zello account and we are going to give it a try. Stay with me. Okay. I'm on the echo test and I'm going to speak from the distance just like I'm talking to the camera. One, two, three, four, five, testing, radio check, radio check, please. One, two, three, four, five, testing, radio check. 
the speaker is very loud and it gives a nice a nice sound i'm going to record something louder longer and then we adjust and you can hear the difference one two three four five one two three four five radio check radio check checking the volume of the microphone one two three four five 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 radio check radio check checking the volume of the microphone one two three four five one two three four five so on the it's getting really really loud on the higher setting i don't go to the end of the scale but no problem you can easily hear that inside your, your car even with the engine running and other noises so that's good that's good that it's loud and it's working quite nice i would like to try like 15 centimeters of the distance one two three four five radio check radio check one two three four five radio check radio check testing 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 and from the short testing 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 so i can really tell you that it's a very very nice sound quality in the microphone there is some noise but it's absolutely non visible not not heard one two three four five testing 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 one two three four five testing 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 so yes it sounds very nice the key was programmed already so you have to just enter your credits on the zello and it's working out of the box i just added a couple of sounds to hear that more like the Motorola radio because I really enjoyed that beep. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. You can disable the, the screen. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. And it will just woke up on the pressing the PTTK. So that's nice. So that's nice. So that's how it looks like. Looks like working. Looks like I'm going to be happy. I have to test it. I have to play to give, uh, of course, uh, some kind of review because this is just a quick show up. And there is a last thing that I would like to to check. I would like to see what kind of SIM card that it accepts, what size. Let's grab a screwdriver and pop out that cover and just see the is this a full size because of course I'm using right now a Wi-Fi from my home but if you are on the road and you do not have uh, your Wi-Fi available you would like to put a SIM card and use the data plan so it looks like we've got a two SIM card is this a full size SIM? I do not have any SIM card let give me a grab one Okay, so I've got my SIM card adapter. This is a full-size SIM and we cannot fit that. So this will be the smaller one from the the full size. I, I sorry, I don't remember the name, but that's how it looks like. So it's not full SIM, full size. And let's check the only one thing that I forgot. Let's see, can we, can we open a phone application and try to make a call? Because I do not have any SIM, but let's check if it is possible.
Now the screw are so tiny. We have to magnetize the screwdriver. It's helping a lot when they stick. Okay. Power it on and we are going to open the the phone application and we are going to see do we have any network available. Can we enter the number from the keypad? Of course I'm not going to call anywhere. Okay, I can see the icon of the phone. We've got our keypad. Do we have any network? No SIM card. Okay, so I think that's all right now. I might have create another video after some time of use to give you indication what's what I like, what I dislike but right now it's looking nice that I have to tell it's looking nice, it's feel nice of course if you don't count that that it's made of plastic but of course that's that's not a Motorola that's not, not to a radio, this is just a, a smartphone but yes, I'm very pleased with the with the nice looking. One, two, three, four, five testing. One, two, three, four, five testing. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.